hello everyone hassan here today i'm gonna share with you ninja form tracking with google analytics and google tag manager you see that ninja form is one of the popular form for wordpress form and i have inserted a ninja form in this my demo website and if you are not sure whether the form is ninja form or not you just need to come to form and you can right click by inspecting here and if you see the form class is start with nf dash that case you can consider the form is built with ninja form anyway to tracking ninja form you need some tracking code uh, you can come to this website and just click the copy code button to copy this code i will share the code in the video description then i am going back to my google tag manager which is connected with this website and from here we need to create a tag so that we can insert the code within our website by clicking new button i am just giving a name ninja form data layer and the tag configuration we need to select custom html and just we need to paste the code here and in the triggering we need to choose a trigger all pages is perfectly fine in this case and finally we need to save it now if i going to preview i am just directly going to the page where the form is and this is the form and google tag assistant is connected with uh, my website and you see this is the preview now if i submit the form with some dummy information and if i submit you see that form has been submitted successfully and if we uh, go back to our google tag system you see that we are getting ninja form submit data layer event as well as we are also getting all other user inputted values which is required if we think about enhanced conversion for google ads or other tracking platform now i am going to share with you how we can track this form with google analytics to do that i am going back to my google tag manager again first of all i also need i also like to send the form id in google analytics so first we need to create a id create a variable so i am going to the variable step and from here i uh, i need to just click new button and data layer variable for id and from here the variable configuration we need to select the data layer variable and in the data layer variable name should be exactly matched with the name how we are getting here so i am just copy the name actually the name is exactly same as this but this this title and it totally up to you you can give any name whichever is uh, whichever you like here and from here i just need to save it and then we also need to create a trigger by clicking the trigger step i am clicking new button and then data layer uh, even and then i can give the name as same name the name is totally up to you you can give any name it doesn't it is there is no right or wrong and from the tag configuration we need to select the custom event and the name is should be exactly matched with the name how we are getting here like this and save it now finally we need to create a tag which tag by which tag we like to send information in our google analytics by clicking new we like to create a new tag ga4 i am giving the name as ga4 dash because uh, because we are going to send this information in our google analytics and then we can give the name contact submit the name is totally up to you and the tech configuration we need to select the google analytics and from here we need to choose the analytics here for event and we need to set the measurement id i have already created a constant variable where i put my measurement id in case you also can directly put the measurement id here 
and then the event name event name the name how you like to see in your google analytics i am just giving name as contact form submit and then event parameter i like to send the send the form id form id we have already created the form id we can click here to get the variable like this variable we have created and then save it and of course before uh, saving it we need to choose a trigger actually we need to click this icon and then we need to select the trigger data layer event ninja form submit and save it now again we are going to the preview mode to see the thing this is connected with my website i am giving the name email address test message this one and submit it now if we check here uh, we see that the ninja form submit data layer event as well as we see that the ga4 contact form submit event has successfully fired and if we going back to our google analytics dashboard from the admin we can go to the debug view and from the debug view we can see that our contact form submit event has successfully sent to our google analytics and we also see that our form id is successfully shared in google analytics this way you can easily uh, track ninja form submission to your google analytics now i am discuss about how we can collect the other information from data layer here for example if any case we need the email address first name last name phone number how we can collect this information to collect this information of course we need to create variables so i am going back to my google tag manager and variable tag now i am like to create the variable data layer variable uh, maybe if email address or maybe address and here the variable configuration we need to select the data layer variable and we need to put the name of the variable if, if you look here we are getting the name as email so we need to copy the email and we should paste here but we have another thing need to consider here because you see that this is called javascript object and this email value is not uh, under the root level you see that the email value is inside another object called input so at first we need to access the input so we can copy the inputs and we need to paste it here and dot by giving dot that means we are accessing the input object and inside the input object our variable name is email so we need to copy the name and paste it here and save it this way i am also creating others required variable so i am clicking here and by clicking three dots we can easily copy everything this is the email address and this is the phone number phone and the name should be uh, here phone because the the name is here called phone and save it as well as we also like to collect the first name and last name from here cop sorry from here coffee and then first name and first name should be exactly measured how we are getting the name here because it is inside input so this is the first name and the from first name and on last name and from here our name is like this so we can give the name as this now if we preview thing again let's see what happened 
last guy I'm giving a name. Test. Get the only phone number, email address. This way and submit it now of course we are getting the ninja form submit but if we check our variable you see that we are getting all of the information we are getting our email address first name last name phone number and everything actually the name is little uh, actually the name i need to rename a little bit so the correct name should be this and this way we can collect the email address phone number and others user inputted value and if we like to track our enhanced conversion that case we can go to our tags and from here we need to select a tag called google ads and from here we can take a uh, google ad conversion and from here we need to put all of the information conversion id level and other thing and if you come here you should see that this is the user provided data actually we, if you like to send the user provided data from your website we need to check here and we can click by clicking new variable and the variable name is uh, user data and you see that we need here email address so we can select our email address this is email address this is the phone number and as well as we see that this is the first name and last name and other information that is not available in our phone so this way we can send this information for our google ads so this is all for today if you need any further if you have any further question related to enhanced conversion taking you can write down in the comment below and if you like the video and if you think that the video is helpful i highly recommend to subscribe my channel and if you have any question related to other video or if you need any kind of video or any custom solution of course you can contact with me it is all for today have a good day